In today's video, I want to show you how to install an ODBC driver in Windows 10. The ODBC driver allows you to get access from larger databases from uh, Excel or Crystal Reports or Access or other programs like that. Uh, so here are, I just installed Windows 10 today and it, I like it a lot. I'm really liking the, the new system. Now I'll look down here and here's a new feature of Windows 10. You can search right from your home screen. So I'm just really going to click there and I'm going to type in ODBC and we're going to let it search uh, my stuff over here. And then at that point, you uh, either pick on set up ODB sources for 64 bit or for 32 bit. I'm going to do 64 bit. I do have a 64 bit computer. So you, you might have to check to see which, uh, which, uh, type of computer that you have. And now we're going to get this screen. At this point, I'm going to pick on the word add. And uh, now I'm going to use one that's called SQL Server that I have installed on this computer. When you do it, you might see a different list here because you might have different databases installed, but they're all going to work the same way as what I'm about to show you. So I'll pick on SQL Server and I'll pick on finish. So you give it a name. This is the driver name. And I'll call it uh, SQL Server 2. And I'll say this is my main um, SQL Server connection. Now I'm going to click on this pull down where it says server and give it a couple seconds. And it'll find the databases that are on your computer or that are on your network. If this, if the pull down doesn't work, then you have to connect with your IT team. They'll give you what to type in there. Uh, I'm going to click where, so you can see it pulled up the SQL Server database on my computer. Like I said, if you click in that pull down, wait a few seconds. If it doesn't return anything, then you're going to connect with your IT team. They'll tell you what to type in there. And it has to be very specific. So I'll pick on next. Now, um, again, you want to connect with your IT team. Sometimes they just want to connect with Windows NT auth auth authentication. I'm going to pick with SQL Server authentication. And you would type in your username and password for that database. Now, at this point, I'm going to say change the default database to. You would never really want to connect to the master database. So again, you're going to coordinate with your IT team and they'll tell you which database to connect to. I'm going to connect to one that's called class one. And we can pick on next there. Now, in this case, you hardly ever have to change anything on this screen. Usually this screen is perfectly fine. So I'll pick on finish. And now at this point, if you get to here, you're pretty much done. Typically, I'll pick on test data source. And usually if you got to that screen, it's going to test OK. So I'm going to click on OK there. And now the ODBC driver is in your computer. Let me just show you how you might use that from Excel or from Access. I'll go into Excel. And I'll go into a blank workbook. Now, I want to pull data in from that SQL Server database into my Excel spreadsheet. So I want to pick on data. And what you would do under data is you say um, from other sources. See how I picked on data. Now you may have to pick on get external data, but it might, probably is already expanded. So then you would say from other sources. And then you say from Microsoft Query. Now this should have the ODBC drivers that you just installed. I'm going to pick one that's called SQL Server 2. That's the one I just did. I'll pick on OK. Now you're going to retype in your password. And now it's trying to connect. Sometimes it does take a couple seconds because you're going over the internet or maybe you're going over the company network, uh, which is what I'm doing. Now here's the tables within that database. So again, you're going to coordinate with your IT team and they'll t tell you which tables are necessary for your, for your needs. So I'm going to go back to the orders table. I'm going to expand that. 
Now you could pick the fields one by one um, by picking on a field and then click on this arrow. But I'm just going to pick on the word orders as the table name and then pick on the arrow. Then I'll get all of the fields. Uh, you can put criteria in there. Like let's say I would say ship city equals Philadelphia and then it would only give me the records that are from Philadelphia. If you don't put any criteria, it will give you all of the records. So you want to pay attention to that because sometimes those can be very large tables. You can even sort the information. I'll sort it by customer ID and then by order date. And I'm going to return the data to Microsoft Excel. We'll pick on finish. And I want to put it in cell A1. It already says that. And I'll click on OK. And you can see how the ODBC data comes right over. So watch again how we added the ODBC database, uh, the connection in Windows 10. It's pretty easy. You just go down to the search area, you click there, and I'll just type in ODBC. And that'll uh, pick on my stuff, by the way, on your computer is what that means. And then you pick the appropriate choice here. And then you can start to set up or modify your ODBC drivers from Windows 10.